you can't become master in english in 10 days in 20 days so such type of questions you have to practice in logical reasoning these are very important questions nobody wants to get rejected due to aptitude hello everyone welcome to this video on best way to prepare for aptitude for placements by coding ninjas myself vishesh and i will be taking you through this video so in this video we will see the full roadmap or full path that we need to follow to prepare aptitude for the placement so we will be discussing about what are the topics that we need to cover in aptitude and what are the must do topics that we have to do for the placements and in what order we need to practice the topics so i am giving you a full roadmap so stay with me till the end and guys if you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as we post the video and don't forget to click the like button down below so in aptitude we will be discussing about the four things so first one is the logical reasoning second one is the arithmetic ability and the third one is the little bit of english and the fourth one is the uh, data interpretation so we will be discussing about these four things in the aptitude so without any delay let's dive into the video so now guys let us start with the first topic which is logical reasoning so i will be telling you some type of questions and you have to practice those questions for the placement so i have written some topics and i am telling you now so first topic in that uh, logical reasoning is calendar type questions so there you have to tell like what would be the day on a particular date in a specific year so these type of questions are come under the calendar based questions now next questions are based on clocks so you have to tell like what would be the angle between hour and and minute hand so you have to think very logically in such questions these are based on clock based question now the next topic uh, under logical reasoning comes is alphanumeric series and coding decoding questions so you are given uh, some i should say a sequence you have to depict the output for some other sequence so such questions are come under the alphanumeric series and decoding coding series right now the next questions are based on dice based question so you have to uh, think in a 3d like what would be the number on the particular face of the dice so uh, these are the dice based question under a logical reasoning then the next questions are based on odd one out so odd one in odd one out questions you have to find out which thing looks silly which thing looks out of place so you have to uh, point out that thing also now the next topic next question that comes are based on the paper folding question so that are very very actually little bit difficult also why because you have to completely visualize that part you have to visualize like how the paper will be folded and what would be the final shape what would be the number right so that's the paper folding question little bit tricky questions and then the questions come like a water image mirror image questions and i should say more question statement and assumption based question so you are given a statement and assumption you have to tell whether the statement is correct or assumption is not correct right so you have to do practice and such type of questions also now the last type in logical reasoning uh, which comes is seating arrangements questions so in seating arrangements you are given a number of people sitting around the round table so you have to tell which person is next to uh, the given person which person is adjacent to given person right who will be sitting adjacent to the given people so such type of questions you have to practice in logical reasoning these are very important questions now from where you will practice such questions so guys i will be sharing a link of guided path to aptitude preparation in our description so click on the link and go to that uh, guided paths on core studio platform which is uh, completely free and practice from there so on the guided paths for aptitude preparation you will be getting each topic that i have mentioned there so for now we have discussed only about the logical reasoning and we will discuss in a minute about the other other things in the aptitude placements so our second topic is arithmetic ability so in arithmetic ability you have to learn some concepts see in logical reasoning you have to think you have to use your brain right but in arithmetic ability first you have to learn some topics you have to learn some concepts because it is more about mathematics 
and then you have to solve the problems so let us start with the topics in the arithmetic ability so the first topic very common topic in arithmetic ability is hcf and lcf so you might feel that it's easy hcf and lcf but actually it's not easy why not easy because speed matters in aptitude everyone can do the questions around hcf and lcm but how you will increase your speed so to increase the speed you have to practice problems around hcf and lcm right so uh, speed and accuracy both matters in aptitude but these are the things that we have covered in 11th and 12th also we can definitely do these things but how quickly you can do that matters the most right now the next topic in our uh, arithmetic ability is average based questions and that are little bit simple but same thing you have to practice uh, without practice you won't be able to do that quickly you won't be able to visualize the question very quickly right now the next questions are based on allegation and mixture question so in those type of questions you are given like suppose the water and milk has been mixed so what would be the ratio of water and the uh, milk now questions based on gold and copper mixture right so what would be their ratio and coming to the next topic uh, in arithmetic ability it is percentage based question so percentage based questions are uh, very very important and we often got confused between the increase and decrease we are not able to visualize actually whether it is uh, the percentage is increased or decreased so you have to practice those type of questions as well now coming to the next topic that is profit and loss questions it looks like child play right but it is not that again saying you have to practice profit and loss questions as well why because you will be able to visualize very quickly like what is the selling price what is the cost price in the question right if you have practiced a lot of questions around profit and loss now coming to the next topic we have questions based on time and work so whichever aptitude uh, test you will sit for time and work questions will always be there why because uh, these questions are like uh, you are given uh, some people do this work in this many days and how many people will be able to do this work in how many days right so such type of questions are very very important because they are asking almost every aptitude test so time and work questions you have to practice these questions as well now the uh, next questions we have uh, done those chapters actually while preparing for je so what are those that are pnc permutation and combination and probability so these topics are little bit difficult but in aptitude you are not asked that level of questions that are asked in the je so you should have some idea about pnc and probability so yeah in probability you must know bayes theorem right some most probability question is around bayes theorem and general probability and pnc right so you have to practice these questions based on pnc and probability also so that you have some idea you have uh, you have some uh, flow right so next few topics let me tell you time speed distance and the next topic is logarithm questions so logarithm is easy if you know the properties of log right so that's going to be very easy i think you have practiced that in 11 so first topic taught in uh, institutes where we prepare for je is logarithm now the next uh, next topic is set theory so set theory is also very important like union venn diagrams and intersections you have to visualize those venn diagrams actually right so that set theory is also very important and guys keep in mind one thing nobody wants to get rejected due to aptitude so if you are not able to solve a coding question that's okay so you are rejected that's okay but nobody would actually want to get rejected due to aptitude so you have to practice aptitude and i have already told from where you can practice you can practice from the kaiser pass on code studio platform which are completely free so guys the next topic in aptitude preparation is english so we actually do not prepare english we may get rejected because of this english so why to get rejected because of only english let's prepare some basics about english so in english you generally need to prepare for sentence completion you need to prepare for synonym and antonym see you can't do 1000 2000 synonym and antonyms but you can get some idea you can practice actually so you can't become master in english in 10 days in 20 days it's about a process it's about how much english you practice from your childhood 
right so you can't learn slowly in tutorials in just a month it's about actually how much newspapers you read in english what is your connection with the english right actually so yes but you can definitely prepare uh, something about english some basics about english and you can uh, prepare english through the same link which will lead to you the uh, guide path on the course studio platform so now let's discuss about the other part in the aptitude preparation which is data interpretation so data interpretation is a critical part of aptitudes so i personally felt that this is a important part when i faced the questions regarding data interpretation in the goldman sachs online test so there were a lot of questions based on data interpretation in the goldman sachs online test so actually uh, you should have some idea about what are the bar charts pie charts like line charts and tables so how to visualize each of these graphs actually right so how to visualize each of these charts so if you know how to think in a bar graph how to think in a pie chart so you will be able to visualize the data very quickly right so you can practice these questions on the guider path that i have uh, given you right uh, which is available on code studio Uh, guided paths link right so you should practice these graphs these charts from there and learn how to visualize this each chart so yeah data interpretation is actually important in companies also that's why they ask aptitudes they ask some questions around data interpretation so this is about the video that we want to discuss uh, we we'll discuss different topics that we need to cover in aptitude now one more thing uh, in aptitude it is actually the flow flow is the thing that matters so if you maintain a flow then it would be very easy for you to attempt the aptitude questions very quickly right it's very important to maintain the flow now one more thing if you are not comfortable with the text based uh, preparation like i said in kinder parts you will be getting notes and then some practice questions so if you are not uh, comfortable with the text based questions then there is an aptitude preparation course as well on the coding ninja's website so uh, you can explore that course by clicking on the link given in the description below so you can take the free trial also and explore that course that's a very very cool course everything will be covered in uh, very much detail in that course so whatever we discussed in this video like what are the different parts everything will be discussed discussed in that course so this is all about this video and i hope i will be able to help you in preparation of aptitude for placement so if you like this video make sure you hit the like button down below and share it with your friends so that they can also get some kind of help right so thank you so much for joining me in this video and staying in the end so keep learning stay safe